Hello there, very few things in life are certain, but when October rolls around, it's time for new Lisa Eldridge makeup. So excited for the fourth collection from my all-time favorite makeup artist. You can catch up on my previous videos on Lisa's True Velvet Red Lipstick Trio from November 2018, her Summer Pinks collection from July 2019, and the Berry and Brown Lipstick Tones from October 2019. No idea where the past year went, but it's suddenly time for new launches. I was lucky to snap up every shade I was after in the pre-order in early October, but as usual, they were quick to sell out. Still a few bits and pieces available at the time of filming this, and some good news from Lisa's team. Her glosses will be back in spring next year, and all of her lipstick shades will return in future too. Lisa is back with brand new formulas this time. The Gloss Embrace Lip Glosses in six shades. Five match her earlier lipstick shades, and there's one brand new color. Muse, Blush, that's the new one, Beauty, Go Lightly, Ribbon, and Myth. There are brand new Enhance and Define lip pencils that come in her new lip kits. I picked up Muse and Blush, the new shade again. Plus four new True Velvet lipstick shades. I went for Velvet Affair, Velvet Blush, and Velvet Dragon. The fourth Velvet Carnival is an electric fuchsia pink. I'll run through all of the formulas, swatches, and some shade comparisons at the end. As always, Lisa filmed a fantastic video demonstrating all of these new creations so you can see how she applies them and they're shown on different skin tones on her website. Let's start with the new True Velvet lipstick shades. I'm sure many of you are familiar with this formula. They're her intensely pigmented matte lipsticks with a velvet effect on the bullet. On camera, there's some strobing and warping happening because of the very very fine pattern, but up close you can see that fabric-like finish. This formula is not a flat or drying matte, it's still creamy and very comfortable. And it lasts and lasts. These are cruelty-free and fragrance-free, and the weighty gold packaging has a magnetic closure. You do have to be gentle with these. I'm always very careful with products, but one bullet snapped at the base during filming last year. I know that's happened to quite a few other people, but Lisa's customer service was excellent and her team immediately sent a replacement. They explained that the lipsticks are so heavily packed with pigment that they can be quite fragile. Hopefully they can find a way to strengthen them in future, but in the grand scheme of things, I've collected all of her shades and it has only happened to one of mine. Velvet Affair is described as an earthy, soft caramel brown with easygoing, cool girl vibes. So I'm going to say this is the unofficial Alexa Chung kind of colour then. Lisa calls it a sticky toffee with neutral slash warm golden undertones. One thing I love about Lisa's launches is that she knows colour. She's a true artist with such a detailed understanding of shades and undertones, so you won't find more accurate or intricate shade descriptions anywhere else. This shade gives me the best kind of 90s nostalgia. Velvet Blush is called a deep pink berry inspired by the flushed hues of Rococo artists Watteau, Fragonard and Boucher. Could we just have an entire Lisa lipstick collection inspired by art please? That would be amazing. She calls this a sensual boudoir shade with muted cool undertones. Kira Knightley is one of my biggest beauty inspirations and a regular client of Lisa's, so if you watched my recent autumn makeup video, let's just say this shade feels like it would fit the Kira Knightley Atonement Green Dress vibe. Velvet Dragon is described as a muted, burnt, soft, rusty red with warm yellow undertones. This shade was inspired by Cinnabar, a pigment that has been used on ornaments and jewellery for thousands of years. Again, Lisa's shade ideas and colour theory always blows me away. You'll see a shade comparison to Velvet Morning at the end of the video, but I agree with descriptions that this is much more of a burnt, slightly brown, rusty red. Definitely has an autumn attitude, but will be fun this summer in Australia too. That was Velvet Affair, Velvet Blush, and Velvet Dragon. These have such beautiful, rich colour, but don't be afraid if you're more of a sheer lipstick lover or want to create a faded or blotted lip look, bingo! This formula works so well as a stain if you lightly tap the bullet onto your lips or dab it on, then blend with your fingertips. Lisa had been hinting at a gloss launch and they're finally here. So happy to welcome Gloss Embrace to the family. This is designed to be a lip gloss treatment hybrid packed with nourishing oils and butters. Now I'm very picky. So many lipsticks and glosses say they're hydrating or moisturizing, but they very rarely are on me. But Lisa has actually done it. The texture of this isn't light and slippy like a lip oil, but it isn't thick or sticky like a gloss. It's somewhere in between and makes my lips feel really silky and and smooth and cushioned. They're comfortable for such a long time after application, it doesn't wear away quickly, and I even did her test of wiping the colour off, but you can still feel the buttery texture there. 
Wild mango kernel butter, acai berry oil, sunflower seed oil, and vitamins all contribute to the smoothing, plush feel. But these are completely fragrance and perfume free. There's absolutely no scent. The flat doe foot applies the formula well, and you can use the tip to be more precise with the deeper shades. I love the idea of matching these to her existing lipsticks so you can wear a lighter version of the colors you love or layer them on top. There are three levels of pigment. Go Lightly is described as medium light, then Muse, Blush, Beauty and Ribbon are medium coverage, and Myth has the most intensity. Let's meet them. Muse is the beautiful, neutral, smoky rosewood she launched in lipstick form last year. Lisa compares this shade to a perfume with notes of rose, cedar, saffron and musk. She's wearing this gloss for quite a while at the start of her video demonstrating these new products. Such a beautiful, everyday, pinky brown sort of shade. Blush is one of her new colours this year. We've already met the lipstick, so you know that this is that flushed, feminine, pinky berry. You can see how these are nicely pigmented with just one dip in the tube, but you can build them up too. This one would have been a perfect match with the berry colour family in my autumn makeup video. Beauty is more of a pop of vibrant rose. Definitely a more traditional pick for pink lovers. Lisa says the blue undertones here give this colour a fresh innocence. A little bit more pink than I'd usually go for, but I like it. And I like that you can apply just a touch to softly tint your lips and create a gentle rose petal pink. Go Lightly is based on Lisa's fastest selling lipstick of the same name, the pretty salmon pink slash coral inspired by a certain lipstick in her vintage makeup collection that was once owned by Audrey Hepburn. This is the only gloss shade that contains a tiny bit of pearl, very fine golden and pink pearl particles that make it look a bit more sheer and glowy on the lips. Ribbon is a recreation of her famous universal red with a touch of blue. It's very flattering. Lisa named the shade Ribbon because it always made her think of a red velvet bow. If you're after a red gloss for the festive season, here it is. Two videos along those lines are coming soon, actually. Myth is a deep mulberry to finish. It's so beautiful and dark in the tube, but it does become much more of a purple berry on. It makes me think of stained lips from backyard mulberries as a kid, and Lisa's description was the same, a bright, ripe berry juice stain. That was Muse, Blush, Beauty, Go Lightly, Ribbon and Myth. Just one dip of each shade but let's add one more layer to see the colours intensify. I love how these feel on the lips but you can definitely take away some of the shine and wear them like this too. Remove the excess before you swipe it on or blot your lips with a tissue to dull it down. Another new addition this year was Lisa's Fantasy Floral Lip Kits, a trio of matching lipstick, lip gloss and lip liner in five different colourways. Velvet Muse, Blush, Beauty, Ribbon or Myth. They come in her classic velvet makeup bag with an original floral artwork designed by John Jacobson, a multimedia artist Lisa bonded with who loves colour as much as she does. The new arrival to discuss in here is the Enhance and Define Lip Liner. I've definitely been having a bit of a lip liner moment lately and these are lovely. Wouldn't expect anything else from Lisa really. They're creamy, glide on, nicely pigmented so you can precisely define your lips or cheat your lip shape, but I love using them in a softer way too. I gently outline then softly shade in my lips for a bit of blurred colour. Then you can add lipstick, gloss or balm on top. I went for Muse to match one of my all-time favourite Lisa lipsticks and the blush kit. The combination of the new liners and glosses in particular is really beautiful. The glosses really boost the colour of the liner and flood the rest of your lips in a softer way than her matte lipsticks. Hoping these lip liners will be sold separately in future. For the first time with this launch, there was also a create your own collection option. You could pick any three Lisa lipsticks or glosses and choose your makeup bag colour. The original Cherry Velvet, Aquamarine Linen or the new Deep Emerald or Midnight Blue. The price for the three products is the same as buying them individually, but the Velvet makeup bag, which is normally £18, was free. Let's do some quick shade comparisons so you can see how the new lipsticks look next to some of her originals and how the matching lipsticks and glosses look next to each other. Velvet Affair fits in the same colour family as Velvet Fawn, the fantastic 90s light brown nude, and Velvet Muse, the stunning smoky rosewood, but Velvet Affair at the top is the warmest. Velvet Blush would have been right at home in her 2019 berry lipstick launch. Here it is next to Velvet Beauty, the lighter rosy pink, and Velvet Myth, the Bold Mulberry. Finally, I'm sure fellow red lipstick lovers will happily make room for Velvet Dragon alongside Velvet Morning, her bright, summery, orange-toned red, and Velvet Ribbon, the classic, timeless red. Here's a look at the matching lipsticks and glosses too so you can see how she's recreated the shades. 
there's Velvet Muse, the beautiful Dusty Rose, Velvet Blush, really love this berry, great new addition, Velvet Beauty, much more of a pretty rosy pink, Go Lightly, the Audrey inspired salmon pink, Velvet Ribbon, can't go wrong, bold red, and Velvet Myth a deep berry duo, well-timed for autumn winter in the Northern Hemisphere. I don't think I look forward to any other launches quite as much as Lisa's, and I feel the same way about these beauties as Lisa does about her vintage collection. Her products really feel like collector's items and a little piece of modern makeup history. I'd love to hear if you managed to get your hands on any of her new products, which shades you're enjoying, whether you skipped launch day, or if you're already eagerly awaiting the restock. My mind races when I think about what she might make next. Will we see matte matching glosses and liners whenever there's a new lipstick colour, or will she create a completely different lipstick texture again? Can't wait to find out. Thanks for watching, see you next time!